Hello everyone. So in this tutorial, we'll learn how to create bar charts in Plotly, and how we'll do it is initially we'll start with a basic bar chart, and accordingly we'll make uh, customizations to it to create our final prettier uh, customized bar chart. And we'll be doing this in uh, ten steps. So let's get started. Initially, we'll uh, import the libraries that we require. So we need just two libraries. One is Pandas that we'll use to handle the data frames. and the second library that we'll need is plotly for visualizing the data the data frame that we'll use to create a, our bar charts it's uh, i have declared it over here and it's a very simple data set which contains three records and two columns which are the names and ages of three people nick tom and ram right so let's go ahead to create our first most basic chart so this is the most simple syntax that you can use to create um, the bar chart using plotly where you mention just three things the data frame that we'll use which is this one df and the second one is the x axis which is the same as the name of the column which we'll re we are referring to as the x axis and then age which will be our y axis as mentioned here right so as you can see that the plot has been plotted like this but there are a lot of uh, limitations to this plot and we'll further try to customize it and we'll try to make it look uh, better right so the first thing that i would want to change here is to in adjust the size of this entire chart i don't want to want it to occupy the entire space of my screen so i'll adjust the height and the width and how you can do it is by just by adding these two attributes which are width and height so as you can see here that i've actually initially the height or the width was a bit higher so it was occupying space till here but now i've reduced the width so it's occupying less space right so it's that simple now i want to actually here if you see the width of the bar is like a lot so i want to reduce that as well so we can do that simply by adding this statement where we mention the bar width as 0.5 so let us just see that if i change it to 1 that what happens so if we change the bar width to 1 then what will happen is it will occupy the entire uh, space and it will leave no gaps in between so what we'll do is we'll just let it remain as 0.5 and we'll execute it so that now you'll see that uh, each of the bars have uh, e are equally spaced and the space between them is equal to the width of the bars as well okay so the next thing that i'll do is adding of data labels for those of you that don't know what data labels are it's these numbers that are represented at the top of the bar which represent the value uh, of the entire bar how we'll do that is just by adding this one statement which is called text dot auto equal to true so it auto sends the value of the bar and it will plot it accordingly but what i want is i don't want these uh, labels to be inside the bars i want them to be slightly outside here on top of the bars so how i'll do that is by adding this statement where i uh, represent uh, you you can actually customize the text angle the text size and the text position so here when i mention text position equal to outside so they'll get plotted outside of us and we actually don't need these two update traces statement as you can see that both these things have been written in update traces so what i'll do i'll just uh, uh, remove one of my update traces statement and add both these uh, customizations to the same update traces yeah so here is uh, how we have updated our data labels the second another thing that i want to add uh, to this chart is the addition of uh, chart title so as you can see here that we add the chart title using this particular statement which is update layout where i mentioned the title text and where i mentioned the title x so with respect to so so let us just try to change the title x to 0 and see what happens so now what this does is it will create the chart title at the very left but i don't want it to be at the very left i want it to be at the center so i'll just give it 0.5 so here as you can see that it it's getting uh plotted at the very center okay the another thing that i want to do is change this bar color to turquoise so how we do that is we just mention this statement which is 
mark a color equal to turquoise and it will accordingly give the uh, change the color of the bars the another th the final thing that i want to do is is change a good theme for my chart because this theme uh, looks pretty boring so we have a lot of options in plotly to for our chart themes and it, it's actually more than this here i've just written down few famous ones to uh, illustrate that what kind of customizations we can make using themes so we'll have a look at uh, all of these one by one and then finally we'll pick one final theme and that will we'll use for our final chart so as you can see here we have these themes so the first theme is plotly which looks like this then we have plotly white which will create the background white then we have plotly dark which will make our background block black then we have ggplot2 which is a famous uh, r plotting library and uh, the theme for ggplot looks sort of grayish then we have seaborn which is another python visualization library and this is how seaborn looks like then we have simple white which um, in, in which it's like plain white it doesn't have any grid lines then finally we have none which uh, doesn't have any theme at all this is very similar to plotly white so the theme which is the most appealing to me is actually plotly white so i'll go ahead and create my final chart using plotly white so let me just correct the indentation that we have here okay and i'll just mention plotly white over here plo okay and so this is how we've created our final chart chart this is what it looks like uh, thank you for watching bye bye